Glad I made it. Glad you made it. <laughs> Glad to be here. Shot still. There you go. Here's the little hoss right here. Oh. Oh. I like it. Yeah. Beans coming at you. We are here uh, in Brookshire, right? We're here in Brookshire, and this is an Humble Whiskey Club tasting. We're actually going to tour a distillery that's in Brookshire, the Shire Distillery, and we're gonna find out what these guys have been doing. So if you got any questions and you wanna know a little bit about whiskey, we're gonna have uh, an expert at the Shire Distillery that is about to explain some stuff and just come along for the ride. All right, we're practicing the, the distance of social. In the mind of a gangster, cause gangster ass players think deep. Up 365 a year, 24-7. Gangster ass players don't sleep. And all I gotta say to you, wanna be, gonna be corn fed, beer drinking praises. Cause when the fire dies down, what the hell you gonna do? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Gangster on this one. You heard? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. A real gangster ass player knows the play. The real gangster ass players get the flies to bitches. That's that gangster ass play a little shake. Now bitches look at gangster ass players like a stop. This is our operations area. All right, Tim. Uh, when we started out, if you look right up there behind you, that little copper setup. Gangsta ass players be the gang players, and everything's quiet in the place. None of this system was here. That little guy was just sitting in the middle, right above that floor drain, and that's where we ran all our operations. This is a family-owned and operated business. We are our own marketing team, our own cleaner, floor cleaners, our own everything. This, the distillers, we do everything ourselves. And so there's a lot of days where we're not here. We're out having to market and pimp the brand. So. Day by day, we're trying to grow, you know, uh, get out of state. Gang, damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Everything looking good to the people of the world, but the Martha family is my ball. So every now and then I owe a favor getting down, like getting a big drug shipment through. And to send them to the poor community so they can bust you know who. So the voters of the world keep talking. Your, your climate plays a big role in your barrel aging. Us putting our barrels, in, well in Texas alone we get some very extreme heats, but putting our barrels up in that front room where we have a metal bay door getting blasted by the sun, or on that other side over there where none of the, there's no climate control or insulation, we, we get some very, very aggressive extreme aging going on. But Alright everybody. We want to let you know that Uncle Whiskey Club came uh, out to Shire Distilleries and enjoyed an amazing tour of their facility, which we really encourage you to come out and try this with them. Uh, before we end this up, I wanted to call up here for a second and ask Tim. Everybody, George. Okay. Start over. You cut it out. It's all right. You cut it I out. I wanted to ask Tim and George, I wanted to ask you guys, what are some of the other things that we can be looking for in the future? Shire Distillers. Okay, other than the seven products you see we currently have, we're gonna, we are, we've been uh, going crazy distilling rye whiskeys, high rise and low rise, uh, so that's coming out. We're also looking at uh, doing, you know, uh, rum, uh, because we're getting a lot, of, a lot of folks asking for rum, and since, you know, as soon as we spend our, our bourbon barrel, like harvest the barrel, we're going to fill it with rum, and so we can have an aged out rum barrel, uh, aged out rum. Uh, we're talking, we are still, it's got a gin basket on it, so we're also looking at making a gin in I'm the future. I'm interested in the gin. They're yep. going to make their own gin. Future plans for a gin, and then possibly another unique product would be a Shire Fire Hazard, which would be a 
the full proof version of our Shire Cinnamon Whiskey. We, we, Shire we talked about doing something like that, so just stay tuned Delicious for stuff. unique products coming out You know, in the near future, distant future. We're always trying to do different things and get creative. Yeah. And, and then a, a wheat whiskey also. We're a wheat whiskey. A weeded, a weeded bourbon. So. so I will tell you right now, guys, everybody, this is an amazing group of guys, an amazing family-owned business. They have some of the best whiskeys that you're going to try. This one right here is mine, and it's going home with me. But I'm going to let everybody know you should get on the bandwagon before these guys actually blow up so big that you can't get in here because it's, it's getting packed. So everybody stay tuned with Humble Whiskey Club. We appreciate for everybody watching this tour. We appreciate Tim for taking us on the tour. It was an amazing time. Definitely, thank One you. of the best times that I've had so far. And uh, with that, I say thank you guys. Thank you everybody. Thank you all very oh, much. Appreciate you thank guys. Very no, very good. Thank you. Thank you.